Hello, I'm Steve Conaway, Assistant Director of Horticulture here at Wave Hill, located on the Hudson River in the Bronx, New York. This event is made possible by an IMLS CARES Act grant. Wave Hill is a world-class garden and cultural center. We provide ways to connect people to nature through education, horticulture, and the arts. Wave Hill selects trees that are unique in their variety and form. Some of these may appear common, but if you look a little closer, you'll find something interesting and unusual. In the next 10 minutes, I'm going to give you a tour of some of the great trees of Wave Hill. Anchoring the corner of Wave Hill's flower garden is a large and robust Japanese maple. Scientific name, Acer palmatum, cultivar Dissectum atropurpureum. Dissected Japanese maples are renowned for their delicate foliage and interesting mounded growth. They are typically very slow growing, and this specimen has been here for over 40 years, reaching a height of about 12 feet. The striking color and shape of the tree is an important factor for the design of the garden, and it provides a beautiful accent to Wave Hill's view of the Hudson River and the New Jersey Palisades. The leaves on this maple are delicate and lace-like, creating a very soft texture, and light filters through them when the sun is low in the sky. The leaf color is reddish purple, turning a brilliant orange red in fall. When the leaves drop in the fall, the intricate twisting branches are revealed, a marvelous structure in the garden. This mature eastern white pine, scientific name Pinus strobus, is planted on the conifer slope. White pines are a common and important native tree in our forests. In a woodland setting, their trunks are very straight and the lower branches of the tree self-prune as they are shaded out. They grow quickly when given adequate light, and older white pines seem to have rocketed through gaps in the forest, punctuating the canopy with a big bushy tuft of needles. Many of the tallest trees at Wave Hill are eastern white pines. This familiar native tree, however, comes with a twist. The Tortolosa cultivar at Wave Hill features twisted needles throughout. The long, slender, contorted needles give the tree a soft texture from afar. This ornamental feature is prized even if the needles fall from the tree. Curly dried needles from Tortolosa white pine are raked up and used as a garden mulch for special plantings at Wave Hill. Almost every elm street you come across was once lined with American elms, scientific name Ulmus Americana. Their elegant vase shape and vigorous growth made them a perfect tree to shade neighborhood roads. American elms were devastated by the introduction of Dutch elm disease in the 1930s, which killed most of the trees on those ubiquitous elm streets. The fungus that causes Dutch elm disease restricts the flow of water in the tree, causing branches to wilt and eventually die. Wave Hills elm towers over the landscape. When the foliage turns bronze in the fall and the low sun shines through the canopy, the tree looks like a shimmering gold fountain erupting from the ground. This specimen is one of the oldest American elms in New York City, and it is precious to the gardens. We actively manage Dutch elm disease annually, sometimes having to surgically remove infected branches with the telltale wilt symptoms. With careful attention, the tree should be able to survive and hopefully thrive for many years to come. Next to the Wave Hill House Cafe, there is a grove of Igiri trees, scientific name Idesia polycarpa. Idesia, native to East Asia, are a rarity in our region. Their smooth gray bark and heart-shaped leaves are attractive, but the spectacular feature of this tree species is its fruit. Idesia produce many clusters of brilliant red and bright orange berries that hang on the tree through the entirety of winter. Contrasted against a fresh snowy background, the clusters look like ornaments. The trees are planted in a grouping to ensure they produce this fruit. You see, Idesia are dioecious, meaning that the male and female flowers occur on separate trees. Only the female flowers produce those beautiful berries, but they will only do so if fertilized by pollen from male flowers of a nearby tree. This lace bark pine, scientific name Pinus bungiana, is planted along a shady gravel path allowing visitors to inspect its intriguing characteristics up close. As the lace bark name implies, this conifer features interesting bark texture. As the tree grows, 
Jigsaw puzzle shaped pieces peel away, exposing a seemingly paint by number scene composed of green, yellow, purple, and gray. This marvelous specimen is quite large for such a slow growing species. It's multiple trunks dividing into twisting branches that spread wide on the landscape. The longevity of these trees is renowned in their native range of China, where they were historically planted at Buddhist temples and palace grounds. Some specimens have been reported growing over a thousand years. Here in the Bronx, it is a surprising sight to see a giant sequoia. Giant sequoias, also known as giant redwoods, scientific name Sequoia dendron giganteum, are native to the Sierra Mountains of Central California and account for some of the world's largest and oldest trees. This specimen tree is found on Wave Hill's conifer slope, an area planted with conifers from all around the world. It was planted there approximately 45 years ago. The cultivar, called Hazel Smith, has blue-gray needles and is slightly more adaptable to our local climate. It was given to Wave Hill by its namesake, Hazel Smith herself, who selected the tree from California seeds she grew in her New Jersey nursery. This tree is currently shorter than the surrounding Norway spruce, but we'll have to wait for a thousand years or so to see if it can get as tall as its West Coast brethren. Seemingly tucked behind the Glendor Art Gallery on a steep woodland hill lies a massive red oak tree, scientific name Quercus rubra. There are some old trees at Wave Hill, and this may be the oldest. We estimate its age between 150 and 200 years. The main branches stretch out quite gracefully despite their huge size. They spread horizontally, a sign that this tree has seldom had to stretch up and over other trees for sunlight. Red oaks are native to most of the eastern United States and a major component of the local forests here in New York. Red oaks are vital habitat trees. Oaks are a host to a huge diversity of insects, an important source of food for songbirds. And this massive tree drops a sea of acorns in the fall, which are gathered up by squirrels and other wildlife. Bulbs of glory of the snow, scientific name Scylla sardensis, have naturalized in this area. And in the earliest days of spring, the huge gray trunk of this red oak is contrasted with a carpet of electric blue flowers seeming to spill down the slope. Wave Hill has a diverse collection of magnolias that produce a succession of pink, white, and yellow blooms in the spring. This hybrid magnolia, Magnolia x Lobneri cultivar Merrill, hangs over the visitor parking lot, welcoming people with a cheery display. The Merrill cultivar name honors Elmer Merrill, former director of Harvard University's Arnold Arboretum. The flowers are almost four inches across with 15 white petals and a blush of pink at the base. This bay laurel tree, scientific name Laurus nobilis, is perched atop the stone steps of Wave Hill's herb garden. Bay laurel trees are native to the Mediterranean region, where the plant develops special cultural significance associated with characteristics of victory and achievement. The tree is evergreen with its broad aromatic leaves long used in Mediterranean cooking and adopted by Indian, Middle Eastern, and many European cuisines. Unlike the other trees on this list, our bay laurel is mobile. It will not survive New York City's comparably cold winters and must come indoors each year. When it returns to the garden in the spring, we cover the foliage with thin fabric to gradually harden the leaves off to the direct rays of the sun. Annual pruning keeps this tree tightly shaped like an open umbrella. The regal form adds to its character in the garden and hints at its long history with humans stretching back to antiquity. The Atlas cedar, scientific name Cedrus atlantica, is native to the Atlas Mountains of Morocco. Wave Hill has a large, beautiful Atlas cedar in our secret garden. This large tree of the cultivar Glauca has blue-gray needles and long, sweeping branches. The blue color is produced by a waxy covering on the clusters of short needles. Aside from the lovely color, the wax also protects the needles from drying out and makes the tree more resistant to damage from New York City's harsh winters. Coming upon this impressive tree in spring is quite a scene, when purple crocus blooms emerge beneath it. You can see the variability of forms within one tree species if you compare the large stately Glauca in the secret garden 
to the Glauca pendula cultivar grown in the wild garden. Pendula is a weeping form that has a habit so malleable it has been trained along a pergola to form a sort of living garden curtain. At the edge of the shade border garden, this tupelo, also known as a black gum, seems to hug the ground, spreading wider and lower than its wild cousins. This is a weeping cultivar of Nyssa sylvatica called Pendula. We prune this tree to maintain its wide sprawling form that complements the surrounding space. Tupelos are native trees that are adaptable to many soil and site conditions. This tupelo has deep green glossy leaves in the summer and produces dark blue berries enjoyed by birds and other wildlife. Tupelos put on their greatest show in the fall when their foliage produces stunning color including blazing oranges, scarlet reds, and even deep purples. This Don Redwood, scientific name Metasequoia glyptostriboides, is a tall stately tree that welcomes visitors as they first arrive at Wave Hills Glendore Art Gallery. Although it is a conifer, the Don Redwood is deciduous, meaning that its soft green needles change to a coppery brown color in autumn and eventually fall to the ground. This tree's reddish bark and angular branches make it striking in wintertime, and the architecture of the tree is complemented in the spring by a succession of bright blue spring bulbs and daffodils planted underneath. This tree's introduction to American landscapes is a peculiar story. Trees in the Metasequoia genus were thought to be extinct by the scientific community and known only from fossils, some of them 15 million years old and older. Amazingly, in the 1940s, a botanical expedition came across a small population of living trees in central China. The fast-growing Don Redwood proved adaptable to many growing conditions and has been planted in temperate climates worldwide. This specific tree was planted in 1972 by founding Wave Hill Horticulture Director Marco Stefano, and it quickly grew to this impressive size.